March 11th, 2021, one year after this whole shutdown began of COVID-19. Officially the ending pretty much for Great Oak of a 2020 season uh, with head coach uh, on our left, Doug Souls, Dan Noble, associate head coach on the right. Uh, also the even error for you two guys, your last week coaching. First and foremost, uh, what is your legacy that you would like to be as far as with this program? Yeah. You can go first on that one. <laughs> um, you know what? I, I think it's just the amount of kids that I hope that we positively impacted. You know, there a lot of kids came through this program. A lot of kids, um, I think, had a great experience, and that's really what you're trying to provide when you create a program like this. Is let's get as many kids out as we can, and let's make sure every kid has an opportunity to do something great. And I think the kids that have gone through our program will will remember it that way. And, that's what it's all about. I could definitely echo that. Um, I mean, when most people would say, oh, I look at Great Oak and see championships, I, I, I look past that. I look at, you were standing here looking at all the kids coming up and taking pictures and whatnot. It's, the kids have a positive experience when they're going through their school. Um, did they leave with something they can carry on with the rest of their lives? Happy moments, good times, good memories. And then, you yeah, know, lifetime runner, runner that's, that's even better. So. I think that's really the legacy that they, they had. They had something in their high school career that was positive and something to look back on with great fondness. Interesting, this past weekend, it was a bit uh, some alumni came up and they showed up. But it was a surprise for you guys to show their appreciation. Yeah, that was, uh, that was emotional for me. I was kind of choking back in tears. I couldn't talk too, too well uh, at the park. But yeah, that was very, it touched my heart. It was uh, very kind. I don't think there's anything more exciting than seeing kids that have graduated from years past coming back with a smile on their face. So, yeah, I think it was uh, it was a good goodbye for us and an opportunity to tell the kids that uh, you know they mean the world to us. And, and you know, even though this is the end for us as the coaches, we've left it in good hands uh, going forward, and I think it'll continue to be a great program. What uh, what was the message that you guys had for the kids in terms of? You know, I'm sure there's a bit of a send-off message in a sense. What, what was the message to the kids in terms of, you know, some of these kids are still going to be competing in track and field. Some of them, you know, they aren't seniors for a couple more years. It was kind of the, the message to those kids. Well, we're, we're leaving it to Isaac Cortez, who, you know, is somebody that, uh, he's one of the smartest people I've ever met and a hard worker. And, you know, he, he went up to Stanford and been at uh, UC Arg getting his master's degree and and so leaving it to him is a, a kind of a dream come true for us because we wanted an alumni somebody that's gone through somebody that understands what you need to do to be successful you know Isaac's been a national champion he's been a state champion as an individual and on, on the teams and he knows what it takes you know he's had his ups and downs he's dropped batons you know he's he's gone in as the fastest guy in a race and finished in 430 and had to had to come back and regroup and, and still find a way to be you know continue to be great so um, leaving him with somebody leaving the kids with somebody like that that's going to understand that they're not going to hit home runs every time they they come up to the plate you know they're they're going to go have ups and downs they're teenagers and so we're excited to leave it to him and you know i think it's uh it's going to be a continuation of great things mm -hmm. yeah definitely uh we were telling the kids to uh, be leaders you know, just because we're not there it really doesn't matter you you're talking about legacy they know what the expectations are for, for a great oak team so we said to just be leaders whoever comes in um O open your arms, welcome them in, and uh, just do your best. Maybe the last question is, um, I know when we did a docu-series a few months back, the, uh, in talking with kids, talking with the coaches, it's kind of like, how do you keep balance? And almost to a T, everybody said, if you want to be really good, there isn't a balance. You've got to really commit. Yet, as coaches, you guys are balanced in terms of the mentorship, in terms of the family, in terms of your own values. How do you guys keep it all balanced? I mean, as far as you might have your coaches, younger coaches get consumed with victories and what have you. How did you guys keep it all balanced and still have enjoy the bigger picture? Um, that was kind of easy for me. It's about the kids. No, it's obviously not the paycheck. <laughs> Or, you know, a trophy, great, collects dust. But, you know, I'm looking at the kids as they're leaving, you know, that's, that's the part that pulls on my heart. It's, that's the balance for me. It's like, I'm, I'm out here um, trying to give the kids a positive experience in life. Um, that's really, really kept me grounded. You know, the ups and downs, the victories, the loss, didn't matter. You know, pulling the kid aside, giving them a hug, and talking, to them, talking to them, counseling them. And that, that to me was what really kept it all in perspective.
Yeah, I think for me, uh, we've had a lot of family in Utah kind of pulling us that way. And, you know, we, we actually uh, thought we were going to move in December and, uh, you know, decided to stay and then, you know, decided when all the nonsense started, it was like, you know, you put your heart and soul into a community, you do everything you can for a very large group of kids, and the kids know that you care about them, the kids know that you're putting that work in, and to see a couple people ruin that um, for the kids, they didn't ruin anything for me, they didn't ruin anything for Dan, uh, but they ruin things for the kids, and that's that's the heartbreaking thing for it, you know, I, I'm always going to have opportunities and, and be in a situation where I'm happy, um, I'm always going to look forward, but I do feel bad for the kids that, that a couple num numbskulls decided to, uh, you know, ruin it for everybody else. You know, 99% of the people I talk to are 100% positive about our program and what we do. And, you know, I think uh, every coach should be blessed to have something, some situation happen um, where they get everyone to come up and tell you that they care about you and what, what you've actually meant to them. Um, that's meant the world to me, just to have so many alumni and kids be able to come up and, and voice, um, you know, in their mind, in their, in their opinion, what it is that, uh, that we did for them. And so I think for me, that's the biggest thing. I, I don't think I'll ever be a real balanced person as far as uh, things go. I'm always going to be all in on whatever I do. My wife reminds me of that all the time. But, um, you know, I'm sure we'll, we'll coach again in the future and you know who knows where it'll be but at some point uh, we'll find some fun stuff so you mentioned state of Utah we had a conversation and possibly the Lehigh region great running state for for, for uh, kids as far as the high school level and so on just a state uh, how soon might we see a coach um, I don't know anybody looking for a coach <laughs> no I mean at the end of the day I've got kids that are going into high school I'd like to watch them play football and run track and do different things and, so, you know, I don't think there's a hurry, but if it gets me a job, then, you know, you know, I don't have a job right now. So, you know, at the end of the day, you, you take the jobs that come your way. And if coaching gets me a job, then I'm sure I'll take it. Dan, you've been the constant right-hand man. Is there any <laughs> chance we may see you coach again? That's a good question. Uh, right now, I'm going to enjoy after 33 years, maybe take a little break. And if God tugs on my heart, yeah, absolutely. Um, but right now, it's just nice to take a little breather, uh, take a break, you know, spend some time with my wife. And my kids are adults now, so I don't have, like Doug, I have kids going off to high schools. But I think, yeah, I'm definitely going to take a break from it. 17 years stint, uh, you know, uh, 14 state titles, a number of kids going on to compete in college as far as getting scholarship help, a number of kids with great memories. So on behalf of all, all facets of California, as far as fans, coaches, media, both of you, thank you very much for what you've done. Thank the you. thing that stays with me, and I, I, I never tire of saying this, you, you guys, in my experience, have always had the best kids in terms of how you handle success and those rare times when it doesn't go their way, how they handle adversity also. It's been awesome to witness every time I see that year after year from the kids. So thank you Thanks, very Rich. much for being here. Thank you. Thank you very much.